Greetings out there, saxophone enthusiasts. Um, I'm Marin, and I'm going to demonstrate this uh, Selmer Mark VI tenor saxophone 95,000 that I'm reluctantly selling. Um, can't keep them all. And uh, this one is something special. Um, this one came from Europe, um, from Germany. I'm not sure if that's where, where it originated, but that's where I got it. Um, and it has the, it's just a really nice piece. Um, it has the original case cover, Selmer case cover, and it has the original case, a European case, which is like this really beautiful two-tone tweed. You know, these nice latches. It's in wonderful condition. It's just, you know, two-tone tweed, brown and tweed with piping, and it's in very nice condition. And uh, you open it up, and there's this, you know, the interior is beautiful. The case is very solid, very usable. Um, the horn is nearly new. Um, as you can see, it's got most of its lacquer. Um, very pretty. Um, there's a couple blemishes, so for the collector who is really just looking for something to put in their closet, I mean, I don't, you know, I would, I would never recommend that anyway because this horn plays too well. But there was a very small dent that was removed here, and um, it was actually very, very tiny. And the lacquer just kind of broke around it, which happens. Um, some lacquer is more uh, uh, brittle than others. Um, here, there was a, a foot popped off, which happens. You know, sometimes the horns, just the uh, solders weren't stable or whatever. And I've had it with a lot of uh, super balanced actions and sixes. One foot would just pop off. So this was repaired. Um, and that's it, I think. It's just this tiny dent here, and the foot was repaired. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's had a complete uh, overhaul and patch up by Ernie Sola, so it's really, you know, in, in excellent playing condition. It's got, uh, we, we decided um, to keep it with original, um, original plastic resonators because uh, the horn is very, very loud. It's probably the loudest horn I've ever played. Um, it's got a nice bright edge, powerful bright edge, and it kind of, the core is very dark. Um, but we just kind of felt based on the way it plays, if we put metal resonators in it, um, it would have been too much, just to, too brash, because it's already very, very powerful. So it really didn't need that. And it just sounds nice and sort of more lyrical with the, uh, with the, with the plastics, and it's already very loud. Um, so you can hear, you know, it really doesn't you know, need anything. That's how it's supposed to sound set up well. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate this with uh, an early Babbitt Autolink that I also have on eBay. This is 6, okay? It's originally stamped a 6. Um, the original tip opening is about 98. Um, I just balanced the tip and adjusted a couple stations right near the tip um, to make it a little easier to play. Some of those facings are a little funky. Well, someone's calling me. Well, I guess <laughs> I'll have to answer that. Hey. I'll call you right back, okay? Bye. So, um, I just sort of balanced the tip, cleaned it up. Um, the, the table and rails and everything is original. It's very close to original, it's just a little bit better. Um, it's a very loud mouthpiece and kind of a darker mouthpiece. Um, goes real well in this horn for whatever reason, because the chamber size, it's like the two of them, very powerful combination. So, let's, uh, let's give a listen to this. And see what we think. See what you think. I know what I think.
Supreme type of period, you know, early to mid 60s. Um, these have a sort of very high round baffle, um, large chamber, so it's got a nice, real nice warm sound with a, with, a, with a bit of a kick to it. This is not the brightest, you know, some, some Florida links are really kind of brighter. This is sort of more warm, but it's got plenty of power to it. So the same read, and this is a seven. This one, I just cleaned it up. There was old plating and that kind of stuff, and I just kind of cleaned it up, polished it, and optimized the facing curve a little bit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this horn too, and a, a very kind of a classic type of sound. <laughs> pieces. This is a double ring Florida link that I completely redid. Um, this is not for sale but just to, just to check out the horn. And this one's like a 90, 97 tip. You can see I don't really go for the huge, huge tips. It's unlike them big. Side. It's not the most focused six I've played, but it's not a real spread. It's kind of right in the middle, a little bit on the focus side, with just a lot of crispy power to it. Feel free to send a message or email or whatever people know how to find me. You can find me. Alrighty, thanks.